Welcome back Poke fans to the Pokemon Infinite Fusion playthrough. Last episode we made our way through Cycling Road after we caught Snorlax and arrived at Fuchsia City. We did one of the quests which was clear out some Grimers from Cycling Road um, and we attempted to do a speed sort of run up Cycling Road but it was one of them where it was really annoying. You need to like time all your turns like perfectly so I'll probably do that off camera um, today we're gonna look at exploring Future City and I think we're gonna go Safari Park see what Pokemon we can find there and possibly take on Koga so we'll start with these houses here oh actually we've already spoke to these I just remembered as well I need to invert a fusion but I can't remember which one it is oh you're buying from the Pokemart don't you so where's the Pokemart in this place over here DNA reverses that's it um, we'll get a couple actually what else could we do with buying well, we ain't got no soup potions. I'll get some high potions. Get ten of them. Um, some more revives. Get some full heals as well. And some max repels. We'll get twenty of those. What else can we get from this side? Repeat balls and poison gems. Need to buy Ultra Balls to catch some strong Pokemon. Have we got Ultra Balls actually? No, we've got 12 Grey Balls, 4 Ultra Balls. Apparently gems are made from the pressurised droppings of Pokemon. That's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. So if we go and use this DNA Reverser on Garalax, this should be the better form. Yeah, I think it even looks better. Snordos. Mm, we don't need to learn bite. Still got the intimidate ability. And it's got better stats, so let's carry on. I wonder how it would feel to ride on a Dodrio. I can imagine it'd be quite hectic. Wait, well, was that a fossil or a living Pokemon? They've even got Snorlax in here. Don't remember him having all these Pokemon originally. The Safari Zone is much too intense for my old nerves. Thankfully, I can still come to this zoo to relax while watching exotic Pokemon. Whoa, it's like they're about to fight. Yeah, we're gonna try and catch them hopefully if we can. Hmm, Pokemon trainer we've met before. Oh yeah, special flu. I keep forgetting to do them. So this Pokemon is from a faraway region called Genova. No seen anything like it. Oh, it's a Munna. So is this gonna be like the old safari where you just get the um safari balls? Why would we want a safari zoo in here? I'll get some of this. And probably not that fusion incense. We'll also lend you this device to help you calculate your odds of catching the wild Pokemon. We'll call you on the PA when you run out of time or put safari balls. Okay, so... Is there like different zones? Ooh, Rhyhorn. Well, I'm gonna bother with the bait or rock, we're just gonna throw balls. Okay, we've got Rhyhorn like first attempt. Ooh, Pinsir. And of course, you just run. 
got an item down here. Ooh, a pin rena. How has this not run yet? There we got it though. So that's pins that ticked off the list. Got a max potion. Did we go in that hut? Oh, Scyther. That was close. I think the other two that I might want is Kangaskhan and Tauros. And now these things just not want to stay in a Pokeball. Might as well just run. Or get caught. Where did my boyfriend Eric go? <coughs> I'm catching Pokemon to take home as gifts. It's not a bad idea. There's no actual music in the Safari Zone, which is quite weird. No uh, need around, we don't need. We've got an Oval Stone. And a Max Potion. Ooh, there we go, Kangaskhan. <clears throat> we caught it for first ball as well. Wasn't expecting that. So follow it round this way. Oh my god, that is hideous. A pecan. Got protein. Ooh, licky tongue. I forgot about that. I could imagine licky tongue having some really good fusions. Ooh, even execute. Can we use the um, poke radar? There's still quite a few that we're missing. And I've got an item here which is a leaf stone. Join the safari zone. And teach me signal beam. No, thank you. We am tired from all the fun. How many did you catch? I'm bushed from the work. Oh, we've used over half our steps already. Area five. Got soft sand. Something up here as well. Double team. Ooh, trip pinch. Could get a fly gun. That'd be our first dragon Pokemon, I think. So does that mean there's different uh, I think you can find Sandal as well. Break that. Got a rock gem. And of course, you'd find you, dude. And you're getting cows here as well. Oh, I could have thought. I thought that was on, like above you, yeah, not underneath. I found a rare artifact in the sand in front of this house. I must be really lucky. I lost my poor chancy, what am I to do? How can I ever find it? Huh? You say you've seen it? At the hotel, yes, I'll go right away. Ah, oh, okay. I forgot all about that quest. Apparently there's a rare Pokemon deep inside the desert temple. 
but the place is a real maze. It's challenging to not run out of steps. What's she on about? Desert Temple? Oh, we could do with catching one of these. Maybe not then. Diggly. Is this one going to stay in the ball? Nope. There we go, we got one. I was going to fuse Crocodile with something, but I can't remember what it was. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so there is like a little maze and you can get Larvestas in here. Is that the only Pokemon you can find in here though? Well, they seem incredibly hard to catch. Ah, oh, the steps are over once we got to the good part. So let's go and have a look at what we've found so far. So we've got Scyther, Kangaskhan, Execute, Pinch, and a Sandile and a Pinarina. I'll have to look for some um, cool um, fusions that we can do. But I definitely want to fuse Crocodile with something. Just not sure what yet. It's going to have to be a ground type though, I think. I'd ideally like to swap Charizard and well, Charmeleon and Geode um, Graveler as well because I don't know, it's just looking a little bit meh. Maybe actually, Rhyhorn. What about that? If we get Rhyhorn, and you unfuse. DNA splices. And then fuse. What about this one? That actually looks quite funny. You can get Rockhead as well. No, I'm definitely getting rid of Scary Face. Not learn Stomp, Bulldoze. Get rid of Slash. Chip away, we don't want to learn. Makes it more of a physical attacker. But yeah, at least then, if we get um, Flare Blitz, it would look... It wouldn't do like any recoil damage and hits incredibly hard. We'll take that item. I just want to quickly check that that is the right fusion, like the right way round. Because I don't really want to waste more DNA splices on fusing and then fusing back. And then also the question is, when does it evolve into a Rhydon? Okay. 
so maybe we invert it later on but for now it is the right one we want the only thing is later on the other fusion is the one that's got more power so probably swap it later on now what can we do we can go and take on the trainers in Koga's gym I suppose now we've got a psychic and a ground Pokemon first we'll heal up the this guy looks important hey you're a Pokemon trainer aren't you oh Iron Ed actually I think we did speak to him already um, last episode so let's head into the gym um, how are you supposed to know what way to go? You can't even see like things. Stop right there, our invisible walls have you frustrated. Yeah, you can't even see anything on the floor. A cough tough. And of course you poison us. I think it might be worth putting this item on Rhymelion so you can get the levels. And have we got any antidotes? Just use a full heal. And so you don't go that way. Must be this way. I kind of want to try take on all the trainers as well, though, because we need the XP. Ratzy. So it's going to be psychic normal, isn't it? And we'll switch to hand choke. Don't appreciate the uh, super thing. What? Extraordinary. I also studied the way the ninja with Master Koga. Ninja have a long history of using animals. Do they? Ninjas normally just use them shuriken stars. Then you got a Nido Shrew. Goes down in one. A Nido Horn. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that at all. Let me see you beat my special techniques. Juggling A, and you've got an Ekbat. A Grybuck. That don't look too much different to normal about really. You had me fooled. Master Koga comes from a long line of ninjas. What do you descend from? Royalty, greatness. The list goes off. Venerass. That looks like a terrifying bug. It must be bug. What else could that be? Just bug. Um, Parabat. Paris has some pretty good fusions. Oh my god. Okay, Romelia. And another Smackdown should do. to learn drill run. I mean it does more damage than a uh, bulldozer so why not? A 
Okay, so we'll use a revive as that's probably going to be one of our main Pokemon. Surely we've got some smaller. Yeah, there we go, eliminate. As I said, I don't really want to use hyper potions. Fwahaha. <laughs> a male child like you dares to challenge me. Very well, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. You shall feel the despair of poison and sleep techniques. We'll be using four Pokemon for this battle, choose carefully. Okay, so definitely uh, Mr. King, Rhymelion. I think we go Snordos and Houndchoke. Because <coughs> I've got a feeling it's going to have a psychic type. Leads off with Venema. Um, Psybeam. Does decent damage, but so does that signal beam. Okay, you waste all of your potions now. Magnifying. So that's going to be steel poison. Okay, we'll go into Rhymelion. That did so much damage. Venema, we can go back into Mr. King. And just Psybeam. Uh, Beetha, so Bee Drill. I don't know what the Thur is. Scyther. Looks pretty cool, actually. Okay, we'll yawn. Oh, it's gonna have technician, isn't it? Right, we'll heal. And you poisoned us. See how much body slam does. Good damage. Oh, it doesn't KO. Right, that's very annoying. Going to Hound Choke. Fire Fang. And Chanok. It's going to be a Chansey Mock, isn't it? <laughs> Just one big load of blob. I think you'll have leftovers. Oh uh, no. Oh, okay, this is going to be annoying because you're setting up acid armors. Right, go to Mr. King. That is so unlucky. Knockoffs not doing much damage. How about dual chop? That does even less. Okay, we might be in problem here. Drill run. Oh, and we lose the toxic. Right, we're gonna have to come back and do it again. Right, so let's try this again. So, Venema, we know that Mr. King with a Psybeam does a lot of damage. You're then going to Hyper Potion. Oh, no, you don't. That's different. Um, Magnifying, we can go into Rhymelion. And just Fire Fang. Sludge Bomb does quite a lot there. And then I'm going to full restore. You self destruct, that's not too bad actually. Um, Beetha will go into Froggy. 
we could put you to sleep if we can connect do you want to connect to hypnosis there we go spark No hyper potion, that's quite surprising. And then next is Chanok. Um, I'm just trying to think, just trying to think. Um, I'm going Mr. King. Are you going to have a... Soybean, oh that's a crit and that doesn't even do much. Um, okay, go Snordos. Try Body Slam, see how much this does. It's this channel, man, it's so tanky. Now it's spamming Body Slams as well. I can't see us doing this. Oh my god, that was so annoying. It set up so many double teams. And, as, and then it had done acid armor that it was just tanking absolutely everything. Okay, here we get the evolution. Yeah, that is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. Um, we'll get rid of Flame Burst. No point learning Dragon Rage. Hmm, you've proven your worth. Here, take the Soul Badge. Now that you have the soul badge, the defense of your Pokemon increases. It also lets you use strength outside of battle. I'll uh, take this too. It is a secret technique over 400 years old. When afflicted by toxic Pokemon, suffer more and more as battle progresses. It will surely terrorize foes. We got some of them Wonder uh, Trade tickets. Okay, so now we got a. Oh, you can just literally go out the front. Well, I think that's the perfect place to end the episode. Um, next episode, I think we've got to possibly go to Saffron City next. As I'm sure that's the next gym leader. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching and hope to see you all next time.